Hey, what's up? This is Hightower. Uh, just wanted to go over um, a quick thing with the 2018 Polaris Phoenix 200. Um, very, very frustrating process. Um, give you a brief story. Um, I went to, I purchased it brand new. Um, it ran for a little while and then it was stalling my son uh, after about an hour or so and then we couldn't get it started. So letting it sit for a while, then we try to restart it, start back up, same thing. It died after about an hour and we couldn't get it started. So I did a lot of research, didn't find too much. I took it back to the dealer three times. They didn't know what was going on with it. Uh, just very, very frustrating process. So I just wanted to let you guys know, try to help out why the Players 2018 Phoenix 200 is having issues because there's one other video on YouTube about it and um, I tried to reach out to that person but they, they didn't get back to me to let me know what the issue was. So the dealer finally found out what the problem was. bike's been sitting for nine hours now. I'm going to attempt to start it again. On. Everything's on. Neutral. Nothing. Can't get started at all. Here's a video after I loaded it up and, and shook it around a little bit. It, want, it sounds like it wants to start. Just keeps on stalling out. So uh, let me tell you what the problem was. So after weeks and weeks of this four-wheeler st staying at the uh, dealer them scratching their heads calling me back without answers don't know what's wrong with it it was something so simple and it was overlooked by factory I guess somebody said it wrong and this in the carburetor you have a main needle there's five different five different adjustments on the clip you can make it run richer or less richer it was set on the wrong setting for this four-wheeler and that's what caused it to die and that was what caused it not to start so with that being said I will uh, put in my uh, video a picture of uh, a carburetor while I'm talking about so you guys can understand but yeah the throttle line that goes down into the carburetor that main needle can be adjusted five different settings if you have a 2018 Polaris 200 Phoenix, this is probably your problem. Um, Polaris is well known about; they know about it. So, um, just let your dealer know that, and they can get you fixed up. Because I have to pay a dime; it was under warranty. So, I'm glad I could help y'all out. Um, like I said, there's not many videos on this uh, on this problem, and I just wanted to reach out to other people to help them out to get through this process a lot easier than what I had to deal with because it was very frustrating. I had to tell my son out of the woods like two or three times, not fun. Alright, here's a diagram of the needle clip position. So you got five different positions on the main needle clip in the carburetor. You have one, one through five. If it's on five, it's richer. If it's on one, it's leaner. So I guess through factory, they put them on five so it would run richer. Well, it was bogging down and flooding the carburetor and the four-wheeler. So the dealer made appropriate adjustments to bring it back to the leaner side. So now the four-wheeler can have the proper gas flow to go through the needle in the jets of the carburetor so it works uh, properly. So that's pretty much what was going on and why it wouldn't start and it was shutting off on us.
So here she is, back from the dealer. Um, I highly suggest when you start this thing up, you let it warm up, let it get up to temperature, um, like any other uh, four-wheeler. But listen to how she starts up now. Just like that. Running like a baby. Running like she should. I wish it would act like this when we first got it. Um, just very frustrating process uh, with this uh, machine, but it's finally over with. We got her fixed. How was that? Good. That was good. You did good, buddy. Yeah. Alright. <laughs> Woo!